always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm doing something really different, I guess you could say. I am creating a short natural nail manicure. Um, I've had mixed requests for kind of like, some people want to see extra long designs, some people want to see short acrylics and some people want to see like natural nails because not everybody can manage with medium nails, long nails, extra long, so I'm putting some new stuff out there. We're going to come straight in with the base coat. I've prepped my nails, we are good to go, and I'm coming in with the base coat. I'm going to apply one coat to all of my nails and then I'm going to cure them in the light for a full 60 seconds and yeah, look how beautifully smooth this base is. I chose this base because it's a medium viscosity which means that it kind of is a little on the thicker side not too thick though it's not like a builder gel or anything like that but it allows to smoothen the nail so if you've got any ridges or bumps and lumps apply a nice coat of the nail mate gel base and you are good to go you could even do this add top coat and it would just add a layer of protection to your natural nails so yeah, I love just adding base coat, if I'm completely honest with you. I think it just makes the nails look super healthy and glossy. We are doing a gel design. So I'm coming in and today's star of the show is Pink Slush, which is a loose glitter. And I've cured my base coat, so we've got the tacky layer, and I'm simply going to dip my finger in. Now if you were applying this to a client, I wouldn't advise them to be dipping into the pot of glitter, because of course then you get cross-contamination, you're going to get everybody dipping into that pot, and you just don't know what is on who, and it's not a very clean way to work. But because this is my personal um, stash, I guess, of products, and I don't share them with anybody else, I'm going for it. I am dipping in my finger. You could even decanter some onto a nail art tray and dip into that and then discard of the glitter, but that would be quite wasteful. Or you could use the glitter bomb brush, which I absolutely love. You could pick it up with a, what's the word? A practice pop stick and sprinkle it on and just keep the excess. Yeah, I think I covered that topic a little bit too long but anyway I pat the glitter in so that it's like you know laying flat on the nail and nothing's hanging over and then we'll come and sort that out later on so I'm using pretty pink I think I went with I initially opened powder puff and it was just a little bit too light so I chose the pretty pink and we're going to apply one coat to this nail now I wanted this to be kind of Valentine's themed, like super cute and girly and just really, really pretty because everyone deserves to have pretty nails even if you're not having any builder gel extension or acrylic or poly gel, you can still do this with gel polish or regular nail polish. It is possible, it just takes a little bit of time. So I've just applied my colour coat and I'm going to do the other finger as well and then I'm going to cure those in the light for a full 60 seconds. And the thing that I love about the Nail Mate Professional Gel Polish is that it's absolutely banging. Honestly, we took a long time to just get this right and I think we did it. Like so many of you guys absolutely love our gels. So many of you just can't get enough of them. They are super, super amazing. So now that I've come in and cured the one coat of the Pretty Pink Gel Polish, I'm coming in with my second coat. And I just love the brush size and width on our gel polishes. They are super easy to work with and they just make the application, especially around the cuticle and side walls, so easy to do once you learn to control and bounce that brush in the correct way. It just becomes super, super easy. So yeah, I'm going to apply the second coat and cure that fully in the light and then we can move on to the next step. If you haven't already, please do give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. I'm loving seeing all of your comments. I do read them all and give them a heart and I reply to as many as I possibly can. 
so yeah it's super fun checking everyone out seeing what they've written seeing what they're up to seeing what their nails like any nail comments you know it's just fun interacting with you guys and we should do it more definitely should like maybe do a Q&A or something I don't know okay so this is where I'm at at this point everything is cured we do have the tacky layer there because we're not kind of moving on to that stage yet but I'm going to move on to the thumb so on here we already have our base coat that has been cured and then I'm coming in with my two coats of pretty pink and it's just such a pretty pink like it literally is what it says on the bottle it's such a pretty kind of really pinky pink and I love it so yeah being careful around the cuticle getting it right and correct on the side walls and just loving basically wearing gel polish and having designs on my nails just because we have short nails sometimes doesn't mean that they have to be plain and boring and have nothing on them Okay, so this is where we're at now. Everything is cured. Everything is ready to go for the next stage of the design. So we still do have our tacky layer in place at this point and we haven't capped the glitter or anything like that. So let's get on to the next step. I'm gonna be using the white out, which is our white gel polish. Such a pretty white. I mean, come on, white is white, but this is such a brilliant creamy white. So I'm just going to go ahead and decanter some of that polish out onto my palette and we're going to be using the Baddest Liner Brush Set. So I'm going to choose, I can't actually remember which one I choose, I'm probably so over in this at a later date, but I'm guessing I'm going to choose number one, yes. I'm going to choose number one. Um, we're going to swirl it around in that gel polish which is going to bring the bristles together and really load it up with the pigment and the polish to make sure that we can get a nice consistent even stroke when we paint so i really had the idea in my head that i wanted to do kind of pink and white stripes i have no idea why but i fancied something whimsical something simple and just something really delicate and angelic looking so that's kind of what i based this entire design off i was like i want to do pink and white stripes but we also need some glitter we also need some like funkiness so that's where we're at I'm coming in with that white gel and I'm starting in the center of my nail just with a nice thin straight line down the middle and then I'm going to work my way out from there and you want to make sure that you try and keep it as straight as you can but don't worry if you mess up you can always come in and just clean it up a little bit with a brush wipe it off if you need to and if you are really kind of like um thinking oh this line's perfect but what if I mess up the next one flash cure it if you're happy with something give it a flash cure for five to ten seconds or 30 seconds if you really want to be sure um and then if you mess up the next one you can wipe it off without removing the one that you're happy with and then you can just carry on as you would without ruining everything if you think you might need to do that then do it it's fine and especially if you're recreating this on a client, you're going to be kind of doing one hand, the other, the other, swapping, changing, all that good stuff. So I guess it gives you an opportunity to <clears throat> really perfect your skills in that sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue painting the stripes just with a gentle, delicate hand with my brush loaded with the gel. And that's what, what as well, guys, is really fabulous about the Nailmate gel polishes. When... I created them when we got them and launched them. I wanted to make sure that they were easy to apply, super pigmented, really top quality and affordable at the same time. And I think we've really hit the nail on the head. One of my most important things was 
them being versatile being able to be used for full nails full cover nails french nails but also to be used with painting and nail art and detail work and if you follow me on instagram you already know that they are absolutely amazing for that you've seen my gel polish work if you haven't i'm going to try and do some for youtube as well it just does take a long time and i'm not sure if you guys want to sit through just watching me hand paint some things i don't know let me know if you do and i will use the nail mat gels to paint some funky stuff get it together you know show you some cool things um but yeah it was just something that was important to me that it had the power to do both and it definitely does don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you didn't already click that notification bell so you can get notified when i upload and also give this video a huge thumbs up i would really really appreciate it Okay, so next we're coming in with Pink Pop, which is this kind of hot, deep pink. And I'm going to be using that with the dotting tools to create some simple Valentine's love hearts. And it's so easy. Anybody can literally do it. You can use dotting tools, an old pen, toothpicks, whatever you have to hand. Use it, create, and just get funky. Like, create some awesome nails. I'm also going to be using the Nailmate Liner Detailer Brush to kind of define my hearts a little bit more. I just find it such a fabulous brush to work with. It's double sided, you get this super, super fine baby detailing point and then the little bit larger liner. Absolutely love this brush. It's synthetic and yeah, it's just amazing. So you're going to come in first with your dotting tool and just apply two dots slightly next to each other and then I also like to apply a third dot in the middle because it kind of gives me my basis of the heart. I'm then going to come in with my detailer brush and before curing anything I'm just going to pull down that product and kind of join the dots a little bit better to make more of a heart shaped or a heart shape that I'm happy with because honestly it literally looked almost like a heart anyway but yeah I just wanted to define it just a little bit more once I'm happy with it I'm gonna flash cure it in the light and that is it that's our cute little heart so easy and honestly it looks so adorable I'm gonna repeat that process on the thumb just to keep the design consistent bring in that deeper pink to the other side and just make this set super super adorable Next I'm going to come in with the Nailmate Gel Polish Top Coat and I'm going to be top coating all of the nails that haven't got the glitter on because the glitter is going to take an extra process so that we can really encapsulate that product, make sure it's not spiky and bumpy because it's the most annoying thing ever unless you literally ask for textured nails, your client shouldn't be leaving or you shouldn't have textured nails. So it's important to make sure that you address that situation and make sure that you know you're given the finish that is required so i'm going to show you how to do that and how to make sure that glitter with gel nails can also be smooth it doesn't have to be bumpy or lumpy or spiky but first off as i said we're going to top coat the other nails cap that free edge and then cure it in the light for the full 60 seconds and this is where we're at oh they look super scrummy super yummy so yeah, showing you guys how this glitter nail is looking. I'm coming in with the mini dust brush and I'm just going to give it a nice gentle brush across those. I want to make sure that there is nothing sticking up, that there are no loose particles because when I apply my top coat and the base that I'm going to be adding, I don't want to kind of drag those particles away from the nail and add extra bulk or anything sticking up from anywhere that I don't want it. 
I'm just running my finger around the edge making sure that nothing's hanging over the free edge or over the side walls and I am going to come in and just make sure that I remove any pieces that I think are going to get in the way of kind of where I'm top coating so for example this large ish piece of glitter that's at the cuticle area if I left there and left that there and proceeded to top coat there is a possibility that over time that area may break down sooner because I can't top coat behind that because the skin is there and then you would be putting um, product on the skin which you don't want so then that gives water products and an area to access under the top coat because I can't top coat behind it um, thus meaning that the product will break down quicker so it's really important that you do really take care to encapsulate glitter nails whether you're working with acrylic poly gel gel polish take that time it needs to be done to make sure that you get the results that are long lasting and that your clients and you are just going to absolutely love so i after taking care of you know making sure everything is how i want it and not sticking up bumpy lumpy hanging over the edge up in the cuticle and all of that great stuff i'm coming in with my nail mate base coat which is a thicker viscosity than the top coat it has a different level of ingredients in there and it's going to offer more of an encapsulated result rather than just applying top coat it's going to smooth it out a bit more so I'm coming in with one thin layer of base coat. I'm going to cure that fully in the light for a full 60 seconds. Now, after this process, if you find when you're looking at your nails at the side, they are lumpy and bumpy, you can wipe off that dispersion layer, which is the tacky layer, and with some safe scrub, you can come in and slightly buff the nails. That is going to remove any spiky bits that are sharp. And then you're going to come in with your top coat, which is going to finally reveal the look and it's just going to look so pretty super smooth and just exactly how you want it hopefully that was a wealth of knowledge for you guys and hopefully you learned from it honestly so many great tips um next i'm coming in with safe scrub this is our all-in-one kind of dehydrator cleanser surface antibacterial spray you can pause that on the ingredients on the information give it a read see what you think of it honestly it's absolutely bomb I love it. It smells delicious. It's so good. I sterilize my tools with it, cleanse my tools, my hands, my nails, my station, the lot of it. You name it, I use it for it because it's banging. Um, also, our lint free wipes. Can't get enough of those. So, I'm spraying some onto the lint free wipes and I'm just removing my tacky layer. I'm then going to add some cuticle oil as well. But yeah, look how cute this set is looking. Honestly, I absolutely love it. So adorable. And I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this short nail design as well. Um, yeah, I love it. So I'm going to come in and... I, gosh, I couldn't speak then. I'm going to come in and I'm adding my banana cuticle oil. I just wanted to let you guys know, if you are watching and you've watched this far, you can get 25% off our cuticle oils by using the code that was on the screen. Cuticle me. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want discount on cuticle oils? I mean, look how juicy they are. Literally every morning, every night, all the way through the day, you need to be applying this. Keep those nails healthy. Keep them moisturized, hydrated and happy. Whether you are wearing acrylics, poly gel, builder gel, gel polish, cuticle oil is gonna make them last so much longer even just for your natural nails such a great health benefit to using natural cuticle oils on your nails and skin and that is it that is the completed manicure i really hope you enjoyed watching thank you so much for tuning in for another video i'm excited for my next video which is a extra long stiletto design Oof, you're gonna love it i'm excited for it but yeah Thank you so much for watching. As always, remember you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. See you later, alligators.